here, it doesn't happen often, but we have a girl who is a little bit skeptical. She says maybe this is not real water. She wants to go in. Please take everything out of your pockets. Make sure, and just so you know, you're doing it at your own risk. You're being very brave, and I admire that, but it's at your own risk. Somebody wants to dive in to join David. We're going to put the ladder right now to make it somewhat safe for her. And maybe she will try to hold her breath with David. Let's see how long she lasts. We're going in three, two, one, four minutes, ladies and gentlemen, four minutes without oxygen. I have no idea why she's doing it. For this court, I think that's pretty awesome. Are you ready? Go in! She's already four seconds underwater with no breath. She's good. Okay, she's giving up. By the second, David needs as much energy as he can conserve in order to push. We need to clear this path. Please, everybody here, please go back. Everybody go back. This area. We need to clear this path. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to go into the six minutes, and I gotta tell you that that's the point where it becomes really hard for David. I want you to help me with the countdown.
We need to make sure, because if he blacks out, David won't be able to get out of the tank by himself. He will need a professional help to get out of there. Therefore, we need everybody to move back a bit. He's converging a bit, but he's pushing. David is pushing. He needs to preserve all his energy. Your enforcement will help him go further. This is crazy! 